So today, guys, we're looking at 50 tips and tricks in the Valheim game. These should help you out no matter what level you're at, but in particular, if you're new, they'll be very useful. If you want more videos like this and more Valheim videos in general, please do consider liking and subscribing for more. You can open your inventory and crafting area by pressing tab. Down here, you can start off by crafting things, and one of the best things to craft early game will be the hammer, as this will open up many more crafting recipes, as we shall see in a minute. Also on tab, you have the Valheim compendium. This will show you your current active effects, and also you can scroll through all of your previous huge and tips to see what advice you've got if you need a reminder. This menu also has the area to show you your skills and your current trophies, as well as toggling PvP if you are playing on a server. Pressing M will open up the map and make it bigger. You can scroll in and out to zoom in and out of the map, and when you get to a certain area, you are able to double-click to set a waypoint. You can then left-click this again to cross it out, and right-click if you want to delete it. If it is crossed out and you want to uncross it, simply left-click again. On the right-hand side here, you'll see you have different uh, icons that you can use to set here, and you can select one of those by left-clicking. Once you have your icon and you've placed it, you can also type in a name if you want to make a named icon just like this it can be an idea to scroll way out on your map as you will find some icons and things as you go through the game that you perhaps haven't explored yet so this is in an unexplored area but i know where i have to head if i want to get to the elder when in game you can also use the middle mouse wheel to scroll in and out of your view to be zoomed in or out for a different viewpoint you can press ctrl plus f3 to get rid of the heads up display and you can still scroll in and out at this point and then use f12 to get screenshots that you're not in if you so wish when you're out of about you can select your hammer and right click to open up a menu and make yourself up a campfire as long as you have some stone and wood on you then left click to place it if you go near to the campfire and you press x to sit down you can rest on the go without needing to have a bed of course you may need a shelter if it's raining because the campfire can be put out by rain when exploring it's a good idea to have weapons and armor on you you can equip those with your hotkeys so we can press three and five to equip there our shield and also our spear now when you're walking around what you might want to do is press r this will put this behind you so that you can run around a little bit faster and lose a bit less stamina then if you encounter an enemy simply hit r again to quickly wield these weapons when you get to water you can swim but as you see here if you run out of stamina and are still swimming you will start to take damage so you definitely want to be careful about swimming particularly out in the open as it could eventually kill you before you have an axe you can punch these trees here to break them up and get wood you just punch them using your fists but it must be these very small trees obviously not any of the bigger trees this will give you your starting wood requirements before you make your axe so once you have your axe you will be able to chop down trees by going up to the tree and left clicking it as you see here they do fall now be very careful because if the trees fall on you you will take damage once it falls you'll have this and sometimes it gets stuck on other trees like this other times it will be on the floor simply then start chopping this up and you'll chop this log into pieces and eventually down into wood and you'll get a lot more wood than you will of course get from the saplings again be careful as these logs here roll around you can take damage and it could even kill you so be careful when you are chopping down trees when you're exploring you will come across deer in order to uh, get them you want to hit control to sneak and come up from behind them with your weapon wielded you can get pretty close from them do it this way and you want to be pretty close before you attack so as not to scoop them uh scare them i should say <laughs> scoop them don't know what that was and then when you attack them obviously they'll die and you'll get the goodies from them one of the drops that you will get from killing deer are the deer trophy you will need two of these in order to spawn in the first boss feel free to kill as many deer and boar as you find around your map and around your base they will keep respawning so you don't need to worry about saving them later for farming you can make a hoe and whilst holding it right click to open up this menu where you can create path raise ground or even level ground leveling ground is useful as you will be able to place floor on it which you'll need to do in order to make your house in order to sleep your bed needs to be under cover and also near a fireplace in order to do this you can either do what i've done here where the fire is placed on the dirt fire cannot be placed on floor so i placed it on dirt outside of the house and then made this structure here around it be sure to do the roof like i've done here as you can see there it is letting smoke out if you don't do that your cabin will fill with smoke and you'll inhale that and your character will take damage however a cheap way to do this early game is to make a fireplace just here like you see my bed is just behind this wall right here once this fireplace is lit the bed will see that it is near enough to a fireplace and allow you to sleep however if it rains this fire will be doused whilst holding your hammer you can right click and see a whole host of things here that you are able to craft and if you go up to items that have been left outside you can left click to repair them these items when left outside will take damage in the rain and will need to be repaired otherwise they could be destroyed one thing you can do when you have 50 wood and you're holding your hammer is to right click and select a wood stack which is what you see i have here this means you're able to stack up your wood and then when you need it you simply whilst holding the hammer middle mouse click to pick all the wood 
wood back up and you'll have 50 more wood in your inventory i had those 31 already this is a better way of storing wood than taking up space in your chests your workbench and forge must be placed under cover as you see here with the roof and also have some walls around them before they are able to be used once you have that done you can go up to workbench and press e and repair all of your tools and items and all that sort of stuff for free you simply just keep left clicking this stuff until that is no longer there and it will repair all of your things for you this is free to do and should be done as often as possible when in your inventory or in a chest what you can do is shift and left click to select any number you like out of the stack if you don't want the full stack and want just a specific amount you'll then pick that up and you can put them in here you can again shift click here like this and just take a couple back and put them back in like that if you want to once you have a bow you will see there are a range of different arrows you can use we have fire arrows here and flint head arrows in order to select which arrows your bow is going to shoot you can simply right click and they will then turn blue this means that i'm now about to shoot a fire arrow chests are a great way of storing items however if we try to make a chest here and place it on top of another chest you'll see it simply won't let us so one way around that is to go into the building section and get this little one by one wood floor thing here and place that just above the chest then we can right click back to furniture get the chest and place it on top of the other one just like that if you use the hammer to destroy this bit of wood in between you'll see the chest actually stays in place so you can stack the chest neatly like this and still access them both even though there is nothing between them in order to cook food you will need to make up a cooking station and place it above a fire pit once you do that you can of course get your food and place it on there to cook so you can grab some of your meat here just like this go up and you'll see here we can press e to cook the item now what the item will do it'll actually go through two stages first of all it will cook and you'll get cooked meat from it if you leave it it'll actually be a way of getting some charcoal so we're going to see all that just now so as you see there there's a bit of a graphic a bit of a noise and a change and we can simply look at that now and press e to pick up a cooked oh, there we go pick up a cooked uh, bit of food and add that to our meat that we have on us now this one right here is also cooked but we're just going to leave it and you'll see the next stage it goes through so there we go that little change right there and we've accidentally overcooked it we've burnt it and uh oh, we need to get a bit away you see there it said about us breathing in the, the uh, smoke so now in our inventory we have picked up a coal so we've got a lump of coal there the coal is used in the smelter i have a video all about the mining guide if you're interested on my channel on me right now i am holding a spear this is quite a useful weapon because as well as a melee attack when you're up close to enemies like that another thing you can do if you use the middle mouse button is throw it at an enemy and kill it that way this of course gives you two different options of attack with the spear i'm currently holding the stag breaker hammer and this is a very powerful weapon that you can make in the early game pretty op for an early game weapon but it also has another use as i'll show you when we get to a structure so when you get to structures throughout your game you can use this hammer to hit at these structures and it will take a few hits i'd Already done some damage before but then what you'll actually do is be able to pick up wood from these so it can be a way of getting wood early game if you're unhappy with your world seed but you feel like you've done a lot of work and you've got skills and items you don't want to lose not to fear simply load up your inventory with all the things that you want and log out once you've done this you can start a new world with the same character and all of these skills and items will be kept so if we go start a new game here we go start we'll go new and we'll just go for a seed of new because i haven't done that one before oh new new oh right that has to be whatever up here hit done and start this world i'll wait for this to spawn up and then i'll show you that i have all of my items and skills so here i am i've literally just spawned in in this new world you can see from the map i haven't done anything yet at all and yet in uh, my inventory here i have all of that stuff that i left with and on my skills all my skills are what they were on that previous world once you have a pickaxe you can easily find buried treasure and bones when you find a stone arrangement like this in the shape of a ship you simply dig it out and as you can see down here i left the chest in place there was treasure inside this before and as you're digging it you'll find skeletal remains which once picked up will give you some bone fragments a cart is a very useful thing to make throughout the game because you can store a lot more in it than you can carry yourself and you can simply pick it up and wheel it around to go off and do your mining or wood chopping and just take a whole load of extra resources with you once you're at the stage where you have a charcoal kiln and also a smelter one little tip is to put things in them before you go to sleep at night time if i put a load of wood in there and a load of resources in here to be smelted up and then go to sleep when i wake up time will have passed and all those resources will be waiting out the front for me in the morning make sure to be wearing as much good armor as possible and taking as many uh, weapons and a shield and all that sort of stuff with you before you go exploring particularly if you can do a black forest you will need to do a lot of black forest exploring in the early game and those places can be very dangerous you do not want to die there so speaking of black forests, here we are in one and here are a few things you can find starting off with carrot seeds which look 
like this and you can press e to pick them up you see there you get a few seeds from each carrot that you will find uh, and you can use these seeds later on to farm them for food either for yourself or to use to breed boars another thing you can find in black forest are pine trees these are definitely worth cutting down as pine wood is useful and will unlock some new recipes copper and tin will also be found in black forest biomes as you can see this is a big deposit of copper right here when you see this you will need a pickaxe to hit away at to go ahead and get the copper tin will be found down near the water just like this so here we are near the water and there is a tin deposit again you can use your pickaxe on that to harvest it tin will always be found near water in the black forest biome you'll also find these burial chambers inside of a black forest and you can go inside them uh, not that around that way around this way and uh, enter th into them by pressing e i actually need to get out of here a second because those things are going to attack me uh, but inside those burial chambers you'll find uh, a lot of mobs so do be careful there's gonna be a lot of things there trying to kill you gear up eat up all that sort of stuff but that is where you'll also get your circling cores and some loot from you can get things like rubies and gold and stuff like that in those as well when you're out exploring you'll often be trying to find your way between one or more different icons and they are obviously on your map and the mini map is in the top right corner of the screen you'll see here by using the comma and full stop buttons you can zoom in and out of the map so that you can enable yourself to see those icons more easily if they are a bit further away stamina is very important when you're trying to fight things if you run out of stamina you won't be able to attack and defend yourself once you have a forge you'll be able to use that to make a lot of things and one of those things is a cultivator as you see right here now you need bronze for this and you'll also need core wood core wood you get from those pine trees i showed you in the black forest biome so with your cultivator wielded you can right click and do all kinds of things from uh, making grass where you've previously got rid of it to to, uh, making it uh, cultivated land that just looks like farmland and then you can also plant things on the cultivated land so if we go here you'll see for example we could place a carrot seed just down there like that if we come over here we cannot place a carrot seed on this bit of the land here that hasn't been cultivated it needs to be in the cultivated area once you have some deer hide on you you can using your hammer right click go into the furniture area and make up a deer rug you will need four hide to do this as you can see here i've placed one on my floor the purpose of this is is to add to the comfort level of your settlement it's always good to have a bow and arrows on you when you're exploring and it's also always good to explore little settlements you come across when you're out and about but one thing in particular that can be useful is that right there which is a beehive so i'm just going to run in here so you can get a better look at that's how the hive looks uh, normally i wouldn't get this close because bees can start to sting you uh, and there we go i'm getting stung so we're going to run away just a little bit here um, but beehives are super useful so what we can do with our bow and arrow is shoot at the beehive until it is destroyed so once you've destroyed the beehive you want to give it a second and wait for the bees to dissipate but then you can go and get some drops from them including honey which is a good early game food source but every now and again you'll also get yourself a queen bee now once you do get yourself a queen bee using your hammer you will unlock the recipe for a beehive as you see here so it needs one queen bee as you see there and you need to be near a work bench and you need some wood now this is super useful because it does mean you can make the beehives like i've got up here and they will produce honey for you up to four honey can be stored in a beehive and at that point you'll need to extract it before any more is made but honey is a very useful early game resource so it's definitely worth taking your time to collect uh, queen bees and honey when you're out exploring when using your workbench to craft a shield, on the right hand side you can click the style button and choose for it to have a different style if you want to make it look a little bit jazzy. In the same way that you repair all of the things you make with the workbench using the workbench, you can also use the forge to repair things you make using the forge, such as our cultivator. So if I click that, our cultivator is now healed up. Again, this doesn't cost anything and should be done as often as possible. Once you have coal, you can use this along with some wood by right clicking with your hammer wielded and going to furniture and selecting sign to place down a sign. You'll see one side has three dots on it and one doesn't the side with three dots on it is the side where you can put the text so we can left click there to uh, put that in then if we're near the sign we press e we can write whatever we want on it and uh, enter that in and there you go you can also edit the sign by being near pressing e and changing the text to whatever else you might want it to say the final tip i have for you guys is to subscribe to my channel if you want more valheim videos i will be doing lots of tutorials lots of gameplays and i'll also be streaming it live on my twitch if you just want to see it in real time there'll be links to all that stuff down in the description but for this one i just want to say thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time if i left any tips out that you think might be useful why not let people know down in the comment section and if there was one tip of today's video that you found particularly useful why not let me know that down there as well